powerful Wi-Fi that keeps your employees connected and bandwidth you can allocate between your customers and employees. I didn't know Comcast Business did that. Oh, I'm not done yet. Advanced voice solutions at affordable prices. How about business TV that keeps customers entertained? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm convinced. But didn't you say something about a great deal? Right now, get started with 25 megabit internet and one voice line for $59.90 per month for two years. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business, beyond fast. Offer ends 521-19, restrictions apply. New business customers only. Two-year agreement required. Early termination fee applies. Equipment taxes and fees extra subject to change. Backup limited to up to eight hours. Did everyone agree with you? Let's find out. Choose your news on the Candy Mike and Todd Show. Everyone probably agreed with you because you make the best choices. We gave you a little taste of our stories, and you've been texting your votes. Candy Mike or Todd at 98973, the online training academy text line. You are pretty creative from the 425. Mike, you have to tell us about Dream Crusher on Jeopardy. I like the way they put that. It's Dream Crusher. From the 206. Well, that was my pro- uh, favorite professional wrestler. That was insane. Was that a name Dream- of somebody? Oh, yeah. It could have been. Crusher, if it Jeff. wasn't, yep. somebody should take it. Uh, from the 206 Candy, I have the best people skills, so I don't need to know about the one that I'm missing. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe I do. Uh, from the 360, Todd, let's hear the letter. Choose your news. Our scoreboard, like I said, pretty close. Todd is at 23. Tad with Mike at 23. I am at 22. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Nice. Today, the winner of Choose Your News, Mike Lewis. <laughs> New clap. The golf clap for you, honoring Tiger Woods as our Freedom Medal winner from the <laughs> president today. So there you go, Mike Lewis. So this is a little bit another <laughs> another episode on the James uh, Holzhauer buzzsaw. Holzhauer, this is from Deadspin. I suggest if you are a Jeopardy fan, you got to read this story because it's pretty funny. Holzhauer may be a source of our inspiration for fans watching at home, but for those unfortunate to uh, fortunate enough to have to play against him, he represents something else. To them, he's a cruel twist of fate. A trick the devil has pulled in exchange for making their dreams come true. Instead of getting a chance to test their smarts and skills in front of Alex Trebek, a studio audience in Culver City, and millions of television viewers, they end up having having to battle against an unstoppable force. Holtower is Gretzky. He's Secretariat. He's Prime Mike Tyson with a signaling device and a smirk. This is Laurel Anderson. I had been stressing a lot about how I would do and what I would do if I win. And suddenly that choice was taken from me. I felt intimidated, <laughs> said Libby Wood, so- soundly defeated Holtor's 19th victory. I couldn't imagine beating this guy who'd been steamrolling dozens of players before me. And this is the thing about Jeopardy. It's not easy to get on this show. 80,000 people a year take the online test. A few thousand are invited to auditions, and 400 of those make it on the show. Holtzhauer himself, he's a professional sports gambler, lives in Vegas. You probably heard about him if you watch Jeopardy. Took the test 13 times and auditions twice for getting called into play. Uh, and it says, uh, another contestant here goes, any other group of players, any other day, any other time, and I could have been at least a one-day champ. <laughs> said, said <laughs> I w- could have been a contender. <laughs> w. Lewis Black, beaten in Holtz, Holtzhauer's sixth game. It was just dumb luck that I happened to run headfirst into a buzzsaw. That buzzsaw has now felled 44 foes. On last Friday's game, he will return May 20th after the show's teacher's tournament concludes. Now, Mike, we explained his uh, theory for Jeopardy. Can you uh, refresh everybody's memory if they're not following this guy and what he's doing right now? Well, let me just actually read you a reaction on this theory from uh, Satish uh, Chand- Chandradiskar. He said, I had a pretty sizable lead, but I was getting pretty confident. And then, for lack of a better word, uh, stuff hit the fan. James got that <laughs> third daily double and pretty much doubled up. Just like that, I was behind, and this is what he does: is he bets hard on the big, on the big uh, uh, winners early, and builds essentially what a poker player would refer to as a sizable chip stack, and that way he can just like roll through the rest of the game, and no one really can can catch him because mathematically it's impossible to if he has already owned all the big ones, and he's also willing to bet very heavy, very early, and really establish a points dominance that has everyone else just desperate. If you haven't seen Jeopardy lately or you're just like, yeah, okay, whatever, it's Jeopardy, it's an old people show. When you watch him bet, it makes me nervous. I could not imagine being somebody playing against him and watching him bet 20 grand, you know, just it's it's like it's nothing. But he's a sports gambler and this is why. He even yeah. said, I'm so used to dealing with these kind of bets, wasn't phasing me at all when I was doing it. But that's exactly what what's happening there. 
he's broken Jeopardy. They're going to have to rewrite the rules. I'm going to say you're, you're describing he's broken people. I would never play the game again. I am done. Uh, next hour, so 125 guns stolen from two Western Washington stores. Hey, what about that uh, so-called safe storage thing that uh, gun owners like me got to put our uh, guns away so we can't have access to them at night? Does that come into play here? We'll talk about that uh, next hour on the Candy Mike and Todd Show. Tracy Taylor is going to check traffic now. So they're alternating traffic right now.